my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we commemorate the memorial of St. Agnes of Azizi Virgin. Agnes of Azizi lived during the years 1197 to 1253. She determinedly followed the decision of her sister St. Clair, joining her in a convent a few days later, not with, notwithstanding the obstinate opposition of the relatives. Later, she was called upon to open a new monastery in Florence, from where she returned to Azizi and spent the last years of her life in San Damiano with her sisters Claire and Beatrice and her mother Ortolona. She lived perfectly the evangelical ideal of seraphic poverty. She died three months after Claire. She lived a noble religious life. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today we read from the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 20 verses 27 to 40. We read as follows, There came to him some Sadducees, those who say that there is no resurrection, and asked him a question. Jesus answered them that the dead are raised, even Moses showed. In the passage about the bush, where he calls the God of the Lord God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he is not the God of dead, but of the living, for all live to him. My dear brothers and sisters, the Sadducees did not believe in the life after death. For them, death was the end. But Jesus explained to them that God identified himself to Moses as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it did not mean that he was the God of corpse, but he was still the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. For they were living in his presence. It is clear that there is life after death because God does not make mistakes. And if he created us to love, it means that we should love forever because real love lasts forever. When we die, we are judged and our soul enters into its proper state, heaven, purgatory or hell. But when the present world finishes, there will be universal judgment and then the world and everything in it will be restored. We ourselves will resurrect to a new life. All that is corrupted in the world will be restored. Then a new body will be given to us, a glorious one, perfect and incorruptible. Michael Faraday was a famous British scientist born in 1791. One day a pupil of his dropped a silver cup into a jar of nitric acid. Being highly corrosive, the acid dissolved the silver cup and it disintegrated into thousands of tiny grains of silver like sand floating in a glass of water. Fade came to the rescue and put some salt into it. This made the grains of silver precipitate to the bottom. The famous London scientist took the grains out and used them to have the cup refashioned into one more beautiful than it had been before. It was same cup made of same silver but better. So it will be with the risen body of the saints. Mary Queen of Heaven, there with your radiant and glorious body you always watch over your children. We ask for your intercession to be able to join you and the whole crowd of saints and angels. There we will meet our beloved once again and we will greet the holy souls in purgatory that we have helped with our prayers. May God be glorified in all our actions. Amen.